Hey guys, Hector Castillo Poppy from GirlShace.com. Today I want to talk about how to be popular. Now first let's define what popularity even is. What a lot of people want when they want to be popular is they want to be liked. And that's probably one of the worst reasons to want to be popular. You can want to be liked, but it should be your lowest motivation. Because what happens when you worry about being liked is it's a never ending battle. Is you're always thinking, I want to be liked more and more. And you really get down and depressed when you're not liked. So your journey is going to suck until the point where you are being liked, but eventually fame fades. And also you need to think about what level you want to be popular with. Because what I want to make, this is social circle game. This is where I started in college. This is my fucking specialty. This is the fucking arena that I grew up in. How do you be cool and popular? And what a lot of people do is they don't think strategically. They just think, go have everyone like you. That's usually the strategy when it comes to being popular. That's not a great strategy because it turns you into a kiss ass, makes you look like a pussy. Uh, you let people take advantage of you. Uh, you don't go and do something for yourself. You're just worried about being accepted by the group. And that's not masculine and other men and women don't respect that. They respect someone who's well respected, but they don't respect someone who really cares that much about being well respected. So what you need to think of is social circles, actual fucking circles, abstract social groups that interact with each other. And they intersect, of course, right? You have a social group here and they have two friends that actually uh, indirectly know each other through this social circle over here. A social circle is, is any loosely or tightly bound group of people who do activities together or who communicate with each other. This is the fundamental nature of social circle and social circle game. And so social circle game, what I'm teaching you right now is just the strategic positioning of yourself with others to be given access to the things that you want connections, at a hotel in a certain country because you're popular with a certain group over there who's like very fancy and they can get you discounts. Or you have hot girls in the group that you want to have sex with. Um, you have cool guys who are great at finance and you want to learn finance from them or there's dancers in the group and you love dance and you want to be better at dance. What you're doing is positioning yourself in a tribe uh, loosely or very, very closely in order to get the enjoyment of being part of that club. So you can think of it as circles or clubs or clicks even. Clicks never leave. I'm sure there's some of you in high school watching this or people who are remembering high school and be like, I'm so glad high school's over. Like, I was so tired of that clicky shit. Fuck you. There's clicks for the rest of your life. You're in one and you're probably one clicky motherfucker. I know people who are those nerds who are like, yeah, clicks. Oh my God, you know, huh, I'm not popular. Don't, I, I don't like what's popular, what's mainstream. And it's like, you're in a click that's based on not being mainstream. And you guys are becoming mainstream. It's becoming mainstream to be, for instance, a hipster. So it's not very hipstery to be a hipster anymore. Do you see? Everyone wants to be part of a tribe. All of you do. There's very few men who can enjoy not being in a tribe. And those actually end up being some of the coolest guys. They're called Sigma males. And what they do is they have the properties or the characteristics of being an alpha and being dominant and in control, but they tend to exist outside of these things. And that's what I do is I know how to lead and I know how to, how to be dominant, but I really like spending time alone. So I come in and out. I'll hang out with groups, be the popular guy, and then like go fuck off by myself for a month and a half and just play video games, you know? Because I like being alone, but I also like being part of the crowd because I have a bipolar tendency, personality propensity. So when you're thinking, think fucking strategically. This is one of the biggest things. People just fucking are, I don't think they're stupid. I mean, a lot of them are stupid. And when I mean people, I mean you. Because <laughs> everyone's like, people. People have this vague, like, oh yeah, people, people. Motherfucker, you're people. So don't fucking think that you're some special fucking snowflake. You're people. So most people are fucking stupid. And they're fucking lazy. Because I wasn't that smart growing up. I was very creatively smart, but my IQ was like, eh. I don't know, like one fucking 13 or 14. It's not anything fucking special, right? But what I did was, is I sat in my fucking room and I worked and I learned philosophy and I learned how to read. I learned how to write. It's what I was doing while everyone else was partying. But then I learned how to party and grinded my social skills. So think of yourself as an RPG character who wants to strategically take over something or, or be involved with something because you don't have to dominate people and like be mean to them because that's also going to not make you popular. But you need to strategically think about how do you be liked by the people you want to be liked by, but also not care if you're liked by them, right? So that's our first tip. But what I want you to think of before we get to the first tip 
is think intelligently. Think smartly what actually works and what doesn't work. Now, if you want a really detailed guide and it's going to include some of the tips that I'm about to give you, but it gives you so much more and it shows you an actual fucking journey where I become popular in a college environment and I start from the bottom, but I go to the top and it's, it has stories and it has tips and tricks and strategies for you to become popular, but it works because I did it. It was difficult. Uh, and I went through a lot of embarrassing shit and you'll read about it because I'm very candid and very raw, but it shows you the journey from loser to, I almost said Hoosier. <laughs> we were redneck in redneck area. So basically I went from loser to Hoosier, uh, king of the Hoosiers, <laughs> but it's about my journey in college and it's called king of college, but it works also outside of college. You could be graduated, you could be fucking 50 and you're still going to enjoy the story because uh, I'm funny <laughs> and I'm a good writer, but it also gives you principles that can be applied to the rest of your life because like I said earlier, you're in high school, you're in college, you're in real life, you're this uh, mature, sophisticated adult who drinks wine on the weekends with his fucking hipster, but fuck you. It works the same everywhere. High school, college, until you're 80. People are always operating, unless they go in the fucking woods by themselves, they're always operating on these principles that are taught in this book. So please check it out, King of College, in the description below. You'll enjoy it and it'll give you these tips that I'm about to give you and a lot more it teaches you about reputation teaches you about reputation management um how to handle girls that you've had sex with how to make friends how to be cool with those friends everything so check it out description below king of college all right well if there was a rave on my face earlier apparently the sun was <laughs> david was like back up back up and i'm like bro i'm in my fucking zone <laughs> but uh yeah so i'm in the shade now we're good lighting's great let's start the first tip okay so first tip is what the fuck is first tip oh yeah be liked and want to be liked, but don't worry if you're not liked. Now, this is a paradox. So, you know, when people say, oh, the guy who doesn't worry about being liked is liked. Have you ever thought of that or heard of it? I don't know if that's a saying. But if you are not concerned with if people like you or not, you tend to be liked because a lot of people are worried about being liked. So the guy who has that, you're like, what about him makes him not give a shit? Or does he seem? Because there's a lot of people who seem like they don't care about being liked, right? people who act all fucking cool, but they're doing that to be liked, right? Because everyone wants to be liked, but you need to, again, be liked for the right reason. So have a goal in mind. And that's how you keep yourself from caring if you're liked for the sake of being liked, but because you want a goal that being liked and being popular will help you achieve, then you're still gonna be doing the strategies that make you be liked, but you're not worried right now if you're getting liked. It's kind of like the same principle with uh, approaching. It's called asymmetric returns, and it works in poker as well. You have a bunch of losses and a big win, right? So I approach 10 girls, get rejected. On the 11th girl, I meet a fucking, my next girlfriend, love of my life, or just a really hot girl to fuck that night. So I believe in the process. So want to be liked for the sake of achieving something, but don't be so concerned with being like in and of itself. It feels good for sure, but it's like potato chips. Potato chips are great, but Potato chips are you getting likes on Instagram or comments or messages from people. And then the steak is fucking that really hot girl in your social circle because she respects you as a dominant member of the group. So think strategically and that'll keep you from caring if you're liked, but still do the things that'll make you be liked. All right, second one, you want to shut the fuck up more and listen more because what that's gonna do is it's going to demonstrate to people that you are actually interested in what they have to say. And usually it's not always the same. You know, people are like the quietest person in the room is the most dominant. Not necessarily. A lot of times they are, but sometimes the guy who's the most dominant or the most popular or the leader likes to be the center of attention because some people do. I like to be the center of attention. That's why I'm on fucking YouTube. It's something I enjoy, but it's a thing in and of itself. I enjoy If you like me, you don't like me. That's okay for marketing and strategic purposes, I do care. But I don't care that much personally. I mean, a little bit everyone cares. Like, don't pretend that you don't care about being like everyone. No one's like totally devoid of that desire. But when you listen and you're quiet, what that does is it allows people, here's the secret to being connected to someone. People feel connected to those who they feel understand them. If they feel like they understand you, uh, it's, it's nice, 
<laughs> but it's not that important. Think of a psychiatrist. Listens to all your problems. He knows you better than fucking anybody. You're gonna feel really connected to that person. That's why people fall in love with their psychiatrists because people develop connections and bonds to people who understand them. And so I even have girls who message me and they're like, oh, you get women, right? And then they feel attracted to me and sexually, and sexually interested in me because they feel like I understand them because they do. That's why I'm giving this advice. So when you listen, you allow people to pour their heart out and um, it can be misused, right? Um, so what you do with this information is up to you. I advise you do it for good, uh, but you give its value in and of itself to make, to make people feel understood. And by listening more and shutting the fuck up more, unless you have something actually valuable to tell and give, then you're going to have a much easier time being invited to parties, being invited to events, getting messages, getting likes on Instagram, fan requests, whatever it is. It's going to make you popular within those circles that you're in. But it's an invaluable skill that'll make you famous with a billionaire and with some random dude across the street because everyone wants to be listened to uh, because everyone cares about being liked. So you're reverse engineering the desire and you're providing that value and then they're gonna give it back with their attention and their affection and their respect and sometimes their sexual desire. Okay, so third, you wanna be funny. Now, I mean be genuinely funny. When you are genuinely funny, uh, usually you're doing high value humor and high value humor is most of the time teasing but not talking down. Yes, you can have some Katrika Proasa, as they call it here in Romania, basically roasting, shit talking. Right? You can roast people and you can shit talk, but you need to do it at the appropriate times to the appropriate person. You need to um, tell it in the right way so that they feel sufficiently insulted to get the joke, but not so insulted they feel like they're actually, you're actually insulting them. Don't do it with someone you don't even know because you, you're not like that yet, but be genuinely funny. This is, uh, I have an article actually on how to be funny. Yeah, I'll put it right there. Check it out. It's very long. It's fucking, I spent so much time on it. And I actually use um, comedians, uh, like patterns of comedians and, and behaviors of comedians that make a person funny. So that's, I put that earlier up there, but it's also in the description below. Check it out. And that's the third way that you can be well liked. Um, and being funny also is never a bad thing. Right? You like being around someone who's enjoyable to be around because it's just pleasurable feelings. But obviously you have like those fuck boys who are like always joking and then you're getting pissed off. So that's another thing. Don't joke too much. So don't joke at the expense of people, but don't joke um, and don't joke at the wrong times. And that's going to save you a lot of bad moments where you're just, you're not feeling the vibe. Here's the fourth tip and this one might, I'll explain. Adapt where you're willing to adapt. Now, I'm not saying that you need to change things that you don't want to change about yourself for people because then you're betraying yourself and then you're being fake and you're fronting, right? But if you genuinely have that disposition or you have the desire to uh, be like that because it looks like fun to you, then go ahead and do it. You're allowed to evolve and change. And some of them are going to be you know, attractive to others and some of them are not gonna be. But if you're gonna do something that people aren't gonna like, do it because you wanna do it. Don't do it, well, you can also do it because they definitely aren't gonna like it, right? If you wanted to piss off people around you and you got a certain kind of tattoo, that would make them feel like you don't wanna be a part of them. Like you got a tattoo on your eye or on your neck and in your hands. And that's very uh, demonstrative of you not wanting to be included with a certain group. But guess what? That is going to make you, oh, this is interesting, not being included in that group and purposefully rejecting it is gonna attract people who also feel the same way because they're similar characteristics. So if you hate this type of music, you're gonna attract people who also hate that type of music, but you're probably gonna piss off the people who do like that type of music. And so you need to choose who you wanna be around, but you probably should also enjoy that thing in and of itself. Like, I like listening to death metal and some people just really aren't about that, but I fucking genuinely enjoy it. My mom raised me on metal, so I'm a metalhead. And so I hang around people who like it and I actually don't get along with them that much. Uh, but I do it because I like it. But if I do meet someone who I also like and we share that in common, boom, now we have something in common. So adapt and grow the characteristics that are like the people around you. Like I moved to Romania two years ago. If I learn Romanian and I do plan on doing it once <laughs> I have time to do it, that would make me cool. 
because the people in Romania, they appreciate the fact that I'm willing to learn their language and adapt to their culture and be like them. I'll never fully integrate because I'll never fully integrate anywhere. I don't fit in anywhere. I'm kind of a social chameleon, but that's because I like this. I would love to learn a new language. That's cool in and of itself, right? So if I do that, I'll be liked and I'll become more popular with Romanian people in Romania. All right, next tip is you wanna be curious about people. This is how you get to know someone without being a kiss ass. If you're a popular guy and you've been in high status in certain situations, all of you have been high status in at least one or two situations. And if you haven't, then you just haven't been getting out. Everyone fits in somewhere. If you feel like you don't fit in anywhere, you're just a fucking snowflake and you're not special, I promise, you fit in somewhere. But if you have been in that situation where you've had someone wanting to get to know you, like when I was president of my fraternity and we had pledges who wanted to pledge the fraternity and obviously they wanna kiss my ass because I'm president, uh, or if you're a respected member, they were like, oh, hey, nice to meet you, man. Oh, that's so cool, you just did, oh my God, yeah, that's cool. I'm, where are you from? Where do okay, my dick is down there. So if you wanna suck it, get on your fucking knees and suck it. But if you're genuinely curious about that person, it'll come off usually. It's one of those things where if you're just really genuinely curious, it'll more likely come off. And you have to express it with your facial expressions and your body language and your tone of voice. And sometimes when you're curious about someone, they're gonna think you're kissing ass, but that's just because you're expressing yourself wrong. But if you come from a right place and then you learn the skills of expressing yourself to seem genuinely curious, people are gonna open up to you. And like with the principle I explained earlier, the more people feel like you understand them and you understand them by being curious and listening, then they're going to feel connected with you. And the more people, think of popularity as a Riemann sum in mathematics. You're just adding a bunch of different values together and then you get the sum total. And so if this person likes you, this person likes you, think mathematically. If there's a thousand people in the room and 850 of them like you, you're really fucking popular. And that's a pretty good spread. Not everyone's gonna like you. People are gonna act like they like you too. You gotta look for false flags. But I go into detail of all of this in the, um, the book, King of College Below. I, it's, I wrote 215, 14. 1,367, something like that, words where I was explaining to you all of these principles that I can't even begin to cover here. Uh, but check out the book below and it'll explain more about how popularity is this, it's just a one-to-one -one game, but done and iterated over a thousand different times, depending on the size of the social circle that you want to be respected in and popular in and liked in. Okay, so going back, just be curious. It's an amazing tip. And then also compliment. So that's how you return value. So or you're giving value. They give you the value back of, okay, I'll, I'll explain to you who I am. And then you fucking smack them on the ass on top of that and give them a little kiss on the cheek. And you're like, that's cool who you are. So I was curious who you were. You expressed that to me. And now I'm telling you that I like it. Compliments usually though need to come from someone who is around your um, value or who is above you. This is why the whole idea of you can't compliment a girl is fucking stupid. If you're higher value than her and you compliment her, she's gonna be like, oh my God, thank you. Imagine your fucking hero gave you a compliment. You're, let's say you're a photographer and your favorite photographer was like, hey, that's a nice shot. You're gonna be like, holy fuck, can I like suck your dick right now? Because you're happy that they gave it to you. So when you give a compliment, you wanna be around their level uh, or above their level. Otherwise you're gonna come off like a kiss ass. But even if you're below someone's level, and you give them a compliment that you genuinely want to give and you do it skillfully, like, hey, that's cool. Not, oh my God, that's so cool. Ah. Hey, that's cool, I like that. Nice haircut, right? That's how you give a genuine compliment and people appreciate people who give value. The highest value people that I know are really nice, but also really skilled. But they're really, they're really nice, really, really nice because you can be well known, but not be popular. So let's define popularity as being well liked. Not by everybody, because you're not gonna be liked by everybody, and you definitely are not if you're doing anything of worth, but you're gonna be liked by the people who matter, pretty much. Because you have the skill to be respected and the skill to express yourself in the correct way, but you also are just being a fucking good human being. And it works in the end. It takes a long time. And as Gary Vaynerchuk is very famous of saying, uh, evil wins in the beginning and at halftime, but in the end, good eventually wins. So kindness and compliments, they go a long way. Use them more. Next, be involved with the group. Go do things with them. Go get beer with them. I remember I joined a nightclub in California. Some of them might even watch this. And uh, I had decent social skills, but I had just come out of college and these guys, like they were, they were more trained on a city level. Um, and so they were a bit higher tier than me. 
Basically, they were higher level than me. Um, I could fit in, but I made a crucial mistake in the beginning. I wanted to differentiate myself enough to be like cool and edgy. Um, and when the groups would meet and then break off, like the groups would go hang out and talk to each other, go grab a beer before work, right? We love to get shit faced before work. <laughs> That's the nightlife industry. Uh, so they'd go have shots together and I would sit in a corner and read a book. What do you think they were fucking thinking? Nerd, nerd. I mean, I still pulled bitches. I still had friends, right? So I still did shit because I had the skills to do it, but I could have been more well-liked if I had just done things with the group. So have dinner with people, do things with groups and the people in the groups. That's how you get the tightest bonds, but do things with the group in general. So here are the three biggest ways though that you can become popular in a group. These are the fundamentals and they never go away. One, do something extraordinary. Do something on your own, right? Because you can't just be sucking everyone's dick in the group and be up their ass. I hate when groups get too up their ass and then they're just like, blowing each other. What you need to do is blow them for a little bit and go like blow someone else or blow something, blow the industry away that you want to be good in, right? Do something that is worthwhile. Write a book, um, grow a YouTube channel, grow an Instagram page, build a business, um, learn a sport, fucking fly a plane. I don't know. Do something fucking cool. Go do something that is amazing and people are going to respect you for it because people respect those with skills. But the best way, in my experience, for you to be popular within the group is two ways. Hang out with the cool guys, because if they're at a certain level and you're hanging out with them in regular uh, situations, like you have lunch with them, they, they, if they hang out with you privately, that's huge. If someone hangs out with you privately, they're definitely gonna be cool with you in public. Because what some people do is they make the mistake of being cool with people in public, but they never take the time to go, hey, let's have lunch, let's hang out, let's go on a trip together. Let's go do this together. That's how you really form a good bond with someone. Or the last one, and this is the absolute greatest way. There is because it demonstrates value at the highest level. Fuck the hot girls in the group. It's, it's, it's so simple. If you're smashing hot pussy in the group, you are automatically super high value because here's the thing. Most people are becoming high value so that they can have access to pussy. That's usually the main motivation for everything that we do. So people want to be cool in the group so they can get access to the hottest pussy in the group. So if you're fucking the hottest pussy in the group, do the equation backwards. What's that mean? You're high value. And then you're popular and high status within the group. You can be the alpha. Um, you can be uh, close to his level, but still have all the access to the pussy, right? You don't have to be the fucking top. You can be the king if you want. And remember that book that I wrote, it's in the fucking description, but you can be close to the top but still get all the access that you want. And sometimes you can fuck a hot girl and then she introduces you to her friends. Guess who's already a top value person? You. You're already in the top because you're fucking the hot girl because that is really the goal of everyone. So do something extraordinary or within the group, hang out with the cool guys and then you're cool. Or if you're the cool one, they hang out with you and then you make them cool and fuck the hot girls. Fuck the hottest, most popular girls in the group and you'll be one of the hottest, most popular guys in the group. Okay, so that is how you become popular. Remember to think strategically. Remember to give value and not suck it too much. I mean, you wanna take value from it, but give more than you take. Be someone who people wanna be around. That's what it means to be popular and well-liked. You don't have to worry about being liked by everyone because you're thinking strategically, not, I like when people like me, what's up, what's up? That's fucking lame. You wanna do it for your own desires. And if you combine these tips, and you combine the tips in that book, uh, you are going to be Someone who's operating outside the game and you're looking at it from a top-down view, the way that you control an area is you get above it. And when you get above it, you can see it from an eagle's eye view or a god's eye view. You have more control because you're not taking it so personally. And it's okay to become not popular in one group, but you learn a good lesson and then you become popular in another group. Because let me tell you, there are cool people everywhere in the world. I'm sure those people over there, those people over there might be cool within their social circles. I'll go invite them to someone from across town or from a different country or a different uh, area and I'll, they'll blow the shit out of them. They'll be like, this person I know over here will have be so much cooler, they'll be able to adapt because they have the skills. And if you have the skills to be popular and you don't just have that one thing like, you're a cool dancer in this certain city, therefore you're cool. But I take you out of your element and you're a fucking weirdo. Or you're a cool musician or you're, uh, well, if you can fuck hot girls, you're gonna be popular everywhere. That's, that's the good thing too. Fucking hot girls and being able to form a connection with a, a, another man and have like a brotherhood. Got the, that is the key to being popular in any social circle. So if you wanna be popular, follow these tips and I hope that you rise to the ranks that you desire to rise to. Okay, 
This is Hector Castillo, girlshaves.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please follow me on social media. Also, uh, remember to check out my King of College books in the description below. Kind of got tongue tied there. Okay. Talking so much, I have a fucking dry mouth. Okay. Whew. Um, check out one date. Uh, let me, how do I describe this? Basically, uh, it teaches you how to meet a girl, take her on a date and get her to be your girlfriend all in one date or just get laid if you want to just get laid. She doesn't have to be your girlfriend, but most of you want a girlfriend. Just like most of you want to be popular, most of you want to get a girlfriend. So one date is great for that. King of College is great for meeting girls in social circle environments and teaches you the principles of social hierarchies and reputation and all that shit. And then one date is great for you just have this skill to go out anytime, anywhere and meet a girl and make her your girlfriend. So check them both out in the description below. Again, this is Hector Castillo, Poppy from girlshaves.com. Hope you enjoyed the video.